skin. So protein growth and muscle bulk is a poor, reduced medium circumference, subcutaneous face with poor, with a reduced skin full thickness. He is a gastrotomy tube. I would like to produce a full examination. He looks pale. So he is a pale with poor muscle mass with gastrotomy tube. Okay. Can someone tell you what could be a problem with the zone? What could be a reason for this uh, uh, poor nutrition status? Anyone Please from the audience? Please write it on the chat box. Uh, we'll be taking the answers from there. What are the different causes why zone is underweight? Please write the reason of being underweight on the chat box. He is uh, based on this description, my we can see that he is suffering from the chronic illness. So okay. he is on catabolic uh, condition, yeah. imbalanced nutrition. Chronic illness, illness, first thing. Second thing is a gastrostomy tube. So there is maybe issue with the swallowing. Third and thing. No yeah. oral feet. Yes. So issue of swallowing and increase uh, yeah, just a, and a chronic illness. So the cause of this undernutrition, this two, so we need to address these two factors directly and directly to make him, uh, to rehabilitate him with a nutrition. Next one. This case, six month old infant has a congenital heart disease with faltering growth. And uh, so two questions. What could be a reason for his nutrition status? And uh, how will you address it? Can anyone give answer for this? Six month old infant with congenital heart disease faltering growth. Reason for the malnutrition and how to treat it. Please write it on the chat box. The reason of malnutrition and how can we take the management? We'll just give one or two minutes for people to write it in the chat box. Okay, we have one answer. A uh, high calorie diet. Yeah. So the why is under nutrition? It is because of the underlying disease process, congenital heart disease. Uh, because of the heart disease, he is not going to get weight. Uh, weight gain, uh, gain the weight. And uh, how we can recommend it the, the the high calorie diet plus to treat the underlying condition. Okay. High calorie diet and at a proper time, we need to treat underlying condition. So that two things will help this kid. Okay. See that there is a, see that in this case, there, there may be always a social issue, like social issue like is a not available to food. Sometimes because of uh, economical condition, proper food, proper nutrition is not available, which is very common in a rural area in India. Second thing, sometimes the food is available, but sometimes lack of parents' education. They don't know how to offer him the good food. It's like, like a breastfeeding. Some mom thinks he's a cow milk is still good. So they don't offer the exclusive breastfeeding, although they have enough secretion. Some mom, uh, in some mom, others say uh, that working mom doesn't want to continue the breastfeeding because she wants to join the work. And they feel that if I can continue, if I have to continue breastfeeding, then uh, I may, may not be able to join. And some organizations are not a support, uh, supportive to the lactating mom. They just give three months leave. Uh, apart from this two year, six month leave <coughs> is in government schedule. And some other psychologists, some of, some of because of uh, maternal health or uh, 
family problem there may be psychological stress because of that they couple or family may not able to give proper nutrition to the infant so these are some social cause okay in that case we are going to discuss the physical cause a 6 month old infant with cld and severe faltering growth what could be a possible cause can anyone so we are talking here about lung disease you write it on the chat box <laughs> okay um lung injury yeah lung injury is lung lung injury is there but because of lung injury no no cystic fibrosis is a diagnosis i am the what could be say because of cld he is a increased work of breathing increased work of breathing needs extra energy so whatever food or whatever thing he is he is having are used in to compensate his uh, breathing issue so there is no saving put on fat and muscle mass to increase the growth okay right so that is the thing so the underlying culprit is a lung disease but because lung disease needs the uh, because of lung disease there is a increased blood work of breathing we need extra nutritional support so the thing is it how why nutrition is important when the kid is normal then when kids everyone is not normal we need nutrition to maintain our day to day work day to day physiological activity right see we eat three times a day we drink lots of water we have lots of thing having a in a day so we need nutrition to maintain our day to day physiological activity and growth but when we are sick when we are sick we need extra energy why because we need some energy the same amount of energy to maintain our physiological function but plus we have to fight with the so called disease so called disease for to fight with the so called disease we need to maintain the extra energy so at a time of sickness we need more calorie in compared to normal state and so that's how more answer a premature can be caused to premature birth yes 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 see the cause see premature birth is a cause but at present is a faltering growth so we are committing on growth not on weight so why is not growing premature birth is there and we will measure it according to premature growth chart when we will account it how much premature is there till one year or two year but we need to see the growth velocity also okay we cannot compare the normal born kid with a premature kid but if you see the velocity according to growth chart it should be a straight forward in positive way if it is not there then we can say that it is a faltering of the growth and what could be reason because of premature born he is a cld that could be reason so in that case we need we don't have an option then to give a high cld and the cld what are the problem increased rate of breathing gastroesophageal reflux sometimes because of distress child may not may, may not be able to uh, suck the milk so these are three factor are there which can lead to the problem in cld one is a increased work of breathing second is a reflux gr is very common in cld and third is a because of constant distress child may not may not be able to suck the milk properly so these are the three causes of the under nutrition in this case anyone have a question any question any doubt please write it on the chat box the next case is a 13 year old boy with cerebral palsy with bulbar involvement and he is under nutrition so anyone tell me what could be a cause of this undernutrition and how can we address it 13 year old boy with cerebral palsy quadriplegic cerebral palsy with bulbar involvement the mixed cerebral palsy and he is definitely undernutrition 
if you want to rehabilitate him with nutrition yes difficulty swallowing low food intake do agree yes. okay difficulty swallowing leads to low food intake first thing second thing there is some reflux problem also there in this cp the cp child do not feed well yes 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 see the yeah why because difficulty in swallowing bulbar involvement okay difficulty in swallowing sometimes cp child will also other issue is there because of inactivity there he gets frequently like a, a, what we said it a, a muscle contracture joint contracture and constipation all these thing it may also hamper with the food intake reflux also there so first of difficulty in swallowing and reflux are the two main cause and other is a constipation because of chronic constipation uh, we don't feel like to eat and how can we rehabilitate simple gastrostomy we need to bypass the throat so with the proper counseling if we told parents that if we want him to good nutrition so that he can maintain his good health and all this thing so we need to rehabilitate him uh why a gastrostomy so that uh, that thing uh, uh, throat and gastroesophageal reflux may be get bypass and he may have a good chance to grow anyone have a question any questions any doubts please write it on the chat box okay what should be the diet for this particular case sir so diet should be a high calorie high protein diet with all the micronutrient environment but detailed diet for the detailed diet menu i will refer to the dietitian because we are not in that in that much detail that we can give them menu according to the local culture and local household requirement for that we have a nutrition is there they know the a uh, calorie aspect and each and aspect uh, uh, of the every food and guide them to family for the specialist for the pediatrician our duty is to find out the cause why kid is a malnutrition and try to address it and we need to follow up with uh, everything is going fine or not yeah in the acute condition it is our duty to give them food like a f20 f100 diet whatever is held that but for the long run what kind of diet we need to give that we always have a diet is you know initially we can start with some uh, ready made food formula like apta meal or everything apta meal nan grow or many are available or any special formulas uh, but uh, <clears throat> we need to refer to the nutritionist in the detail thing we can do it but maybe it will be a we are not that much frequently trained to do it uh trained in that things so anyone has a question there are no questions at present so last one is a cystic fibrosis case has a malnutrition what could be a cause a boy with cystic fibrosis and is malnourished what are the causes what can be the cause cystic fibrosis child also swallow difficulty there will be swallow difficulty not that much cystic fibrosis has a uh, the problem with a uh, uh, with the mucus clearance okay so difficulty in mucus clearance leads to repeated lung infection that may cause a increased nutrition demand second thing in cystic fibrosis there is a deficiency of the pancreatic enzyme which lead to malabsorption yes sir cystic fibrosis list yeah cystic fibrosis leads to some to uh, cholecystitis also it is also cause malabsorption 
so the thing is a repeated uh, lung infection and malabsorption are the main two causes of the malnutrition mean in the cystic fibrosis and that leads to decreased calorie intake so we give the pancreatic enzyme in the diet regular pancreatic enzyme and we focus uh, to prevent the lung infection via chest physiotherapy regular nebulizer with antibiotics and all this thing okay and again diet should be a high calorie diet with a, a proper fat soluble vitamin because it is a problem with the pancreatic enzyme and which are may be responsible for the fat absorption so it is possible there are deficiency with a fat soluble vitamin so we need to support them adek okay next question 